Okay, good day grade 9 learners! Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So for today ay may bagong lesson na naman tayong pag-aaralan. Ito ay ang solving quadratic equations by factoring. So meron tayo ditong key idea na tinatawag nating zero factor theorem or tinatawag nating zero product theorem. It states that if x plus a times x plus b equals to zero, then x plus a equals to zero or x plus b equals to zero. So the conjecture stated in the is the context of factoring. So naalala pa yung kung paano magfactor using general trinomial in the form of x squared plus b x plus c and a x squared plus b x plus c. We're in through this theorem, the zero factor theorem or zero product theorem, we can equate each linear factor to zero and solve for the solution. So, mahanap natin yung solution set ng given quadratic equation with the use of factoring. So, let's have an example. Factor x squared plus seven x plus twelve. So, we have x squared plus 7x plus 12. So, by applying the zero factor theorem. So, by factoring, so, we have two factors. So, x squared, we have here x and x. And then, considering the last term, which is 12, hahanap tayo ng factors ng 12 whose sum is 7, which is our middle term. So, our middle term is 7. So, anong factors ng 12 ang sum ay 7? So, we have 3 times 4. So, 3 times 4 which is 12, pero kapag kinuha natin yung sum ng 3 and 4, ang sagot ay 7. So, we have here plus 3 plus 4 is equal to 0. So, we write here equals to 0. Then, after that, by applying the zero factor theorem, so, we can write x plus 3 as x plus 3 equals to 0 and we can write x plus 4 as x plus 4 equals to 0. So, inequate lang natin yung two factors by 0 by applying the zero factor theorem. Then, x equals get the additive inverse of positive 3, it will become to negative 3. And then here, x equals to 4. The additive inverse of 4 is negative 4. So the solution set is negative 3 and negative 4. So that is for our first example. Okay, second example. x squared minus 7x minus 18 equals to 0. Again, let us get the factors or we need to apply the factoring by general trinomial. You have here x squared, you have here x and x. Since negative yung ating last term, one factor is positive and then the other one is negative. Ngayon, nahanap tayo ng factors ng negative 18 wherein ang sum ay negative 7. So, wherein we have here 9 and 2. Right? So, 9 and negative 2 or negative 9 and 2. So, which give us both negative 18. Pero ang ating middle term ay negative 7. So, let us get the sum. So, 9 minus 2 is positive 7. So, therefore, 
Ang tamang factors ay yung negative 9 at positive 2 na makakapagbigay sa atin ng middle term na negative 7. So, therefore, ang negative ay yung 9 at yung positive ay yung 2. So, yun yung factors ng x squared minus 7x minus 18, yung x plus 2 at x minus 9. Ngayon, i-apply na natin zero factor theorem. So, we can write x plus 2 as x plus 2 equals to 0 and x minus 9 equals to 0. Then, x equals to negative 2 and x equals to positive 9. So, therefore, the solution set is negative 2 and 9. So, let's have our third example. x squared minus 8x equals 0. So, our solution for that is we can apply here factoring by common monomial factor. So, what is the common factor between x squared and 8x? So, we have here x and then x squared divide x is x minus 8x divide x is 8 equals to 0. Then, we can apply the zero factor theorem. So, we can write x as x equals to 0 and then we have here x minus 8 equals to 0 then x equals 8 so therefore the solution set is 0 and 8 for our last example we have example 4 2 x squared plus 7x plus 6 equals to 0. Ito naman ay factoring general trinomial in the form ax squared plus bx plus c because we need to consider yung ating uh, leading coefficient na 2. So, we can factor this as so we can make use of trial and error method you have here 2x and x and then positive yung middle term then positive yung last term so parehas positive and then yung factors ng 6 i 3 and 2 so we're in kailangan natin makuha ng 7 kaya kailangan natin i-multiply yung 3 dito sa 2 so 3 Then, dito yung 2. So, let us check the middle term. So, 2 times x, 2x. 3 times 2x is 6x. You have here 8x. So, therefore, hindi ito yung factor. Okay, so let's try another one. Pagpalitin naman natin yung 2 at 3. 2x plus 3 x plus 2 equals to 0. You have here 3x then 2x times 2 you have here 4x which gives us 7x. So, tama yung factor sa atin na 2x plus 3 and x plus 2. Now, gumamit tayo dito ng trial and error method. So, pinagpapalit-palit lang natin yung mga factors until we get the middle term. So, kailangan din natin i-consider yung coefficient ng first term at yung last term na 6. And then, try lang natin pagpalit yung factors until we get the middle term. So, we can use the zero factor theorem. So, that is 2x plus 3 equals to 0 and we have here x plus 2 equals to 0 so we have here 
2x equals positive 3 will become negative 3. Then applying the MPE or we need to divide both sides by 2. So x equals negative 3 halves. Then here we have x equals to negative 2. So therefore, the solution set is negative 3 halves and negative 2. So that concludes our lesson for today about getting the solution set with the use of factoring. So just remember the zero factor theorem. If x plus a times x plus b equals to zero, then x plus a equals to zero or x plus b equals to zero. So don't forget to like and share this video. So see you on our next video tutorial.